Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Geeks for Geeks channel. This is Akshit Oswal and we are again solving a dynamic programming problem in the series of competitive programming. If you haven't watched our previous video in the series, I will put the link in the comments below. So let's get started. This problem name is skip the work. In this we have to find the minimum time to finish task without skipping two consecutive tasks. So let's jump ahead to the problem. So this is the question plot. Your friend Akshit is a lazy programmer and he solves every problem in shortest time too. So his manager thought of taking a test of Akshit's abilities. So the manager assigned Akshit and task which he have to do in the shortest time possible. Taking test of his abilities, manager also told Akshit that he can skip any task he want. But he cannot skip two consecutive tasks. Each of n tasks provided have different time duration in which each can be completed. Also, task which has to be completed should be in sequence. Now, you have to help your friend to solve this tricky problem. So, this is the question in short. Given an array ARR of size n, denoting the time taken by complete to complete n task, we have to determine the minimum amount of time required to finish the task considering that we can skip you can skip any task but skipping two consecutive tasks is forbidden for example let's take an array of size 4 and with this element 10 5 7 and 10 so what could be the minimum time in which it can be completed that will be 5 plus 7 12 we are not skipping any consecutive task over here so that would be fine okay so this is the, uh, this is the idea how we have to solve this problem approach this problem we have to skip the task taking more time and avoiding consecutive skipping now let's talk about the input and output format so the first line of the input contains integer t denoting the number of test cases then t case follows first line of each test case contains a positive integer n denoting the length of the array ARR. The second line of each test case contains n space separated positive integers denoting the elements of the array ARR. In the output we have to print out the minimum time taken to complete the task. So this has the constraints and let's get started. So first talk about the sample input. So we are given sample input, four sample inputs. These are the fours. Okay. So let's uh, talk about the explanation of uh, let's say this first sample input okay so let's try to draw a tree initially we will be having uh, the time required to solve zero task will be zero okay so for the first let's say for the first task that is that takes 10 10 amount of time so we can include task 10 or we can exclude task 10 we have two options for each task we can include the task or we can exclude the task but uh, remember we can't exclude or skip two consecutive tasks okay so let's say we include the task 10 so the minimum so the time required till now is 10 now let's explore this 10 node again so so the next element is 5 so we can include 5 and we can exclude 5 so if we include 5 then the time will be what will be the, the time taken to do all the work will be 15 okay now let's explore this one so we can uh, the next element is 7 so we can include 7 or we can exclude 7 so the task the time will be corresponding to this will be 22 and 15 so now let's explore this 22 furthermore we can uh, the next element is 10 so we can include 10 or we can exclude 10 okay so as you can see there each, each and every, for each and every steps there are two possible cases we can include an uh, element or we can exclude an element okay so this will be the time if we include the element and if this will be the time if we exclude the element 10 now what happens if we have already excluded 7 a number and then we are trying to again in exclude or include a number okay so since we have already excluded a number so we can't exclude the next number we have to include the number so there will be no exclude case for this 15 and only include case for this similarly for this element the tree would be this and for the zero for this case when we are excluding then the tree would be this with the help of this tree you can find the amount of time taken to complete a 
complete the task while including or excluding some certain elements like 10 if we include the 10 the amount of time to complete the task will be 10 and if we exclude it the amount of time will be 0 similarly for 5 and 10 both this will be this level will show us the result so for this the minimum amount of time which can be used to complete the task will be 5 and similarly for the last level where when we have uh, gone through all the elements all the tasks so the minimum amount of time to complete all the tasks will be 12. so this was the idea that how we are going to approach this problem that for each and every element we have two cases we can either include it or exclude it and on the basis of that we have to recursively call the function include and exclude to find the time required to complete the task now let's talk about the dynamic programming approach for this problem so i will be taking only three arrays three single dimension array that is include exclude and minimum time so let's talk about the base condition for this problem let's say we don't have any task in our array so what would be the uh, time for including zero task or excluding zero task that would be zero so this would be our base condition that include zero uh, i and cl zero or exclude zero will both equals to zero so now let's talk about the logic to fill the include table so the logic will be include i is equals to array i plus minimum of, minimum of exclude i minus one and include i minus one why we are using that let's try to explain it so we can take an example of where we are including a element let's say this five we are including this five over here okay so the minimum amount of time will be what this this five okay in this level for the inclusion of ten and five the minimum amount of time required to complete the task would be five okay now let's impl the, implement that particular formula that is include i is equals to array i plus minimum of, of exclude i minus one and include i minus one over here and let's see what result uh, we get over here so for this element 5 the array i uh, array i equals to what 5 so array i plus minimum of exclude 5 or include 5 sorry exclude 10 or include 10 so this is the result of include 10 and exclude 10 so what is the minimum in both of this this 0 it is the minimum out of this 2 so this 0 plus 5 will be what 5 so this is correct answer Now let's talk about the logic to fill the exclude table. So the exclude i will be equals to include i minus one. Let's see an example of this, how we are getting this solution. Okay. So for let's say we take this exclude 10. So what would the result of exclude 10? So according to the formula, exclude 10 should be equals to include i minus one, that is include seven. So what is the value of include seven here? Here is 12. Okay. So what is the value of exclude 10? It will be 12 okay now if we have to find the minimum then the minimum time required minimum time i will be equals to minimum of minimum of exclude i and include i for every element okay so let's say for this last level where we have uh, encountered all of the elements what would be the minimum time to complete all the task that is minimum of include 10 and include exclude 10 so they are like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 include 10 and uh, exclude 10 so what is the minimum out of this this 12 so this would be the answer as we can see for this example first the output would be 12 so this is correct so now let's try to fill this table with the help of this all code this all logic so for include include 1 what will be the value of include 1 that will be array 1 plus minimum of uh, exclude 0 and include 0 so array 1 is what 22 and include 0 is 0 and exclude 0 is 0 so minimum out of this is 0 0 plus 22 that would be 22 for exclude 1 what will be the value of exclude 1 include 0 so include 0 is 0 so exclude 1 will be 0 now we can fill this uh, minimum uh, minimum time table after we have filled this both table or we can fill it along with this table also so i'm going to fill this along with this table okay so minimum time of uh, minimum time one will be equals to what minimum of exclude i minus uh, i that is exclude one or include one that would be what zero similarly for include two what will be the result include two will be equals to 10 plus minimum of 22 and 0 that is 0 so 10 so exclude 2 will be equals to what exclude 2 will be equals to include 1 that is 22 so it is 22 here and minimum time 2 will be equals to minimum of 
include 2 and minimum of exclude 2 that is 10 again so according to this let's fill uh, the third cell of the include so what will the include 3 include 3 will be 25 include exclude 3 will be 10 and minimum time for third cell will be equals to 10 similarly for the next cells this would be 13 25 and 13 and 17 13 and 13 you can check this with the help of this solution so okay so this solution this whole approach is very good we can use this but if you have paid attention to the description of the problem uh, i will just let you yeah so if you have paid attention to the description of the problem there is a expected complexity that is time complexity o n big o n and space complexity complexity big o one but in our case what we are using here the time complexity is big o n but the space complexity is also big o n so i'm going to uh, if you have paid attention to this we are only using for each i cell for filling each i cell in minimum time let's say minimum time i we are only using exclude one include one and exclude zero and include zero only for any cell let's say for minimum time four we are using only values what include three exclude three and include two exclude two there are only four values which we are using for filling of this minimum timetable so we can use an approach in which we can take down the space complexity to big o one how we are going to do that let's see this so this four steps are the common approach to solve any dp problem so the first step always is to create variables so we can say arrays or tables second will be finding the base condition third will be finding the logic and fourth will be returning the value okay so this is the approach we are going to use to optimize our approach we have used in the previous steps okay so we are going to take down the complexity from big o space complexity from big o n to big o one okay so first we are going to create two variable only variable not array or not tables okay include and exclude then we are assigning the base condition arr i include equals to arr zero you can also use include equals to zero as we have used in the previous steps in the previous solution okay but uh, if you are using that then you will have to use uh, i equals to zero in this for loop not i equals to one i'm using i equals to one so that's why i'm using arr zero include equals to arr zero then we have to fulfill the base condition for uh, exclude also excludes equals to zero then we have to just use this for loop and the logic that is uh, create we are creating a new variable new include variable and assigning it the value of arri plus minimum of exclude and include and then exclude new is equals to include and then we are just assigning back the current uh, the newly created variable to the original variable that is include and exclude and then when the loop is complete we have to just return the minimum of exclude and include so now let's move forward and code it so i am here at the geeks for geeks id and uh, i have written the input method and a corner condition also that is if n is equals less than equals to zero then we have to return zero that is if there is no element passed in the array we have to return zero okay so the first step in our solution is to create variables include and exclude second step is to assign the base condition i can assign the base condition in this step also now the third step is to fulfill the logic condition and build the for loop okay and the last step is to return the value minimum of exclude cl uh, exclude and include okay so with this our code is complete so let's try to compile and test it Okay, so we can see that the expected output is 12, 21, 10, and 13, and our is also the same. So that is all correct. So back to the PPT. So this was the C code which we have used. Okay, this was the corner condition, n is less than equals to the zero is corner condition, and you can take a screenshot of it. And this is the Python 3 code with the same steps. First, we are creating the variables and assigning the base condition to them and then we are fulfilling the logic and we are returning the minimum of include and exclude okay this is the java code we are again doing the same thing we are first creating the variable assigning the base condition to them fulfilling the logic and then we are just returning the minimum of include and exclude so that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you like this video give us a like down below uh, if you have any suggestion or any query put it into the comment box i will be there to help you all and subscribe to our channel if you haven't so with that
Stay home, stay safe, and see ya.